Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Do you ever look in your prepper pantry and you think, I've got all this food, this is wonderful. And then you ask yourself, well, what do I do with some of it? I don't even remember why I bought some of it or how I plan to use it. Well, today I was looking through my prepper pantry and I noticed that I have some small cans of ham that I need to start thinking about rotating because your pantry should be a working pantry. You're working your way through it. You're using your foods, rotating them, and then replacing them because they're not going to last forever. The nice thing about canned meat is, though, it'll last for many years, five, eight years past the date on it in general. You just want to make sure that you're inspecting the cans to make sure that they're not bulging at all, nothing is leaking, nothing looks strange, greasy on the outside. And then when you open it, make sure nothing ever spurts and make sure everything smells and looks okay. And then it's probably fine to eat. Occasionally you will find cans that aren't any good anymore and those need to be thrown away. Don't risk getting sick over a dollar's worth of food. You need to throw out food that is no longer safe to eat. It only makes sense. So I came up with a bunch of meal ideas of what you could make out of your prepper pantry that included a can of ham. And so here are some of the ideas that I put together. How about scrambled eggs with ham? You just need some eggs, a can of your ham, and maybe even a package of buttermilk biscuits. If you have cheese, top it with that. You can make it your own. Use pepper, add whatever you like to season up the way you might enjoy it. How about a pasta salad with a can of ham? It can be as simple as a box of Suddenly Salad. Suddenly Salad comes in different flavors. You can even find one that's bacon flavored, which might be extra good to add a little bit of ham. Make sure that you have some mayonnaise if that's called for in your recipe. I like to take some of my dehydrated mixed vegetables and I add them into the Suddenly Salad when I am boiling the noodles and it has a little bit of vegetables in it already and then you can add some more and they tend to be small the same size as the veggies in the Suddenly Salad you get an extra helping of vegetables and they're done around the same time I like to store food better to last longer so I like to take foods like Suddenly Salad out of the box I store it in a clean canning jar, I include the directions, the dressing packet, and then I can put it away in my pantry and they last for several extra years doing them that way. How about cheesy scalloped potatoes with ham and a side of mixed vegetables? You can put the ham into the potatoes while they're cooking or sprinkle them over the top when you're done. The Idahoan cheesy scalloped potatoes are really delicious, but you do need to make sure that you have any extra required ingredients such as butter or milk, which could come out of your prepper pantry if you have powdered milk and powdered butter. I also like to take the Idahoan type potatoes out and store them into a clean canning jar, just like I do foods like Suddenly Salad. Look at some of your longest lasting foods. The 15 bean soup and a can of ham. 15 bean soup already has a packet of seasoning in the soup mix. So that's one of the benefits of buying them already mixed up. You don't have to figure anything else except add water and a little bit of ham if you like. Add any ingredients that you like when you're spicing up soups to make them as delicious according to your tastes and flavors. I made a video about how to make the 15 bean soup. I'll put a link to that video if you're interested on how to cook a 15 bean soup in the crock pot. Split pea soup is another great way to use up your can of ham. Grab a package of split peas to make a split pea soup in your crock pot. I like to store my dried beans into clean jars. You can recycle jars if you have them and then make sure that you label what it is. It is easy to actually get mixed up on some of the foods that you store away if you don't quite remember what it is. I like to also take the directions and put it in the jar with it so that if someone else needs to make it, they have that information already there. Looking for a way to change up your mac and cheese? Stir in the can of ham when you're stirring in the cheese sauce. I like the Kraft macaroni and cheese. To me, it's worth it to spend a little extra because it tastes so much better. And I've also found that even if I don't have the milk and butter, it still tastes fine because the cheesy powder is pretty tasty. Macaroni and cheese is also something that I store in clean canning jars. And I've discovered that I can put two packages into a jar. I take a sandwich size Ziploc bag, I pour in the noodles, I add the cheese sauce packet, 
seal it up, put it in the jar, then take another one, put it into a sandwich bag, and add that into the jar as well. And there I have two packs of macaroni and cheese set aside in my pantry that can last for quite a few number of years. I have made a video about expired macaroni and cheese. I'll put a link to one of those videos in case you want to check out can you really eat expired or out of date macaroni and cheese? In my experience the answer is yes. Make an easy variation on pozole. A can of ham, a can of pintos, a can of hominy, some spicy tomatoes, and then jazz it up with chili powder, garlic, and onion. You'll have a nice soup stew type recipe. You could serve with tortillas, pour it over rice, and it's really delicious. Make a fun ham sandwich. Stir together some mayonnaise with your ham, spread it on some bread, and top it with a pineapple slice. And if you don't have bread, mix up some buttermilk biscuits. A great thing to have on hand if you don't have bread is a package of pizza crust. You can mix it together, shape it into a loaf, and bake it, and then you have a small serving of bread that would be great to make with your sandwiches. Heat together a can of butter beans, a can of smoked ham. Serve it over cornbread. It would be absolutely delicious. Ham quesadillas. Open and drain your ham, black beans, and kernel corn. Stir it together. Then heat it together with some cheddar cheese inside your tortilla for a wonderful quesadilla. Delicious. Make an easy jambalaya. You can put together a can of ham with a box of zatarans jambalaya mix or if you don't have the jambalaya mix you can make your own. Stir together the ham with a can of diced tomatoes, a can of chicken broth. I like to add a handful of my dehydrated peppers and onions that I made in my dehydrator, some Cajun seasoning and serve it with rice and you have a wonderful filling meal. Here's a favorite from one of the Alaska Granny community members. Somebody left a comment under my butter bean video on how to make an easy ham and butter bean soup. Stir together the butter beans, the can of ham, chicken broth, and a small can of carrots. How easy is that? How about an easy Hawaiian pizza? You can have a package of pizza crust from your pantry, a can of tomato paste, which I made a video on how you can easily make pizza sauce from a can of tomato paste. I'll put a link to that video. Just remember, we usually like cheese with our pizza, so you probably need some in your refrigerator. The very first time I ever heard about Hawaiian pizza, and I had some and I loved it, I told my mother about it, and she told me I made it up. It must be from that little hick town you live in. <laughs> it's good. No power, no time, don't worry. Grab a box of crackers and a can of ham. Open the can of ham, serve it on the crackers, and you have a quick and easy to go snack. There are a lot of ways to put food together. Add or delete or substitute according to what your likes and dislikes are and the foods that your family is willing to eat or not eat. Remember, the foods in your pantry are a working pantry. You should be working through your foods then you should be rotating them and replacing them. You want to keep building up your food stockpile, but don't just set it away forever because a lot of the shelf-stable pantry foods don't last forever, but they will last for a few years. And you know what? We aren't prepping for a uh, one big SHTF. We're prepping to have smooth days for every day of our life. We want to be able to come home and get a meal together for our family. We want to have enough to eat if there is some snowstorm, somebody is sick, you run out of money, uh, you can't get to the store. You want to be able to continue to feed your family. And then if some big horrible thing comes, guess what? You can still keep going. And the point is that you have the basics and then you can figure out what to do next. And that's very comforting. That's why I'm a prepper. I want every day to be the best it can be. Leave us a comment if there's some other foods that you put together with some of the foods in your prepper pantry and leave us some meal suggestions so we can rotate our food and keep having ideas on how to work our way through our food storage. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.